When you get to know a particular animal, as you do when you're making films, you suddenly realise that they are different. I remember very clearly making a film about a spider. This is called a bola spider. It spins silk, it puts a little blob on the bottom of the thrine, and then it whirls it like a bolas. And I said to the cameraman, uh, look, that's what it does, old boy, go away and film it. In due course, I went down there, and he had a number of milk bottles, and he had sprigs of, of vegetation in each one of them, and on each one of them there was a spider. He said, this one, he said, is, is absolutely hopeless. I mean, if you, if you show her a light, she won't do anything at all. She simply won't show us bolas. And the one next to it, she hates sound, and if I make a click or something, she stops. But that one, she's absolute darling. Put a moth anywhere near her, and she swings her bolas, and it's absolutely dead certain you've got a great shot. Spiders with individual personalities, come on. No generation has had an awareness of what goes on worldwide in every part of the globe, from the tops of the mountains to the bottom of the seas, than we have. We have no excuse for not knowing what we're doing to the natural world. If you give the natural world just half a chance, it bounces back in an extraordinary way. That is what gives you optimism. People say, do you think about death? Of course I think about death. Think about death every time you get up in the morning. The difference between something that's, that was living five minutes ago and is not anymore is very difficult to define. But you know when other things have it, and you know when they don't. That sort of mortality is what, what links us all. We're one.